Hi, everybody. Uh, we are going over some content to add into your community so that you can have a nice welcoming space for people to know what's going on in your community. And so I'm going to show you, we just, uh, the video I just did before this was the welcome. So if you haven't seen that one, then check that out, the welcome post. Um, there's a template for that. And there's also a template for this one, which is the purpose. Now I've changed the heading on my purpose. So it doesn't say our purpose. It says our values. And that's, I've, I just, I've been playing around with this, honestly. So I think it's a good, you know, it's a good thing to just like play and see what, like resonates with you. So I had this as our purpose and uh, I have, I've had it as a couple different things, but so right now it says our values and this really is trying to relate and make sure that people know who this space is for and what we're going to do here. So the biggest thing that I found when I talk to Monday network hosts, when they say, you know, people are not sure where to go, where to start or what to do, um, they need to be guided to these things and there's ways that you can feature them, but I typically would recommend pointing them to these sections, the welcome post and the, our purpose post when you're doing an introductory welcome event. And so what I typically recommend is for whenever you, um, have people come in the community, I would say in the first, you know, a couple weeks you would want to have a welcome party or however you want to title that a welcome event, whether it's a course or whether it's a, just a network, uh, to have people come together in a zoom call so that a, for the first of all, that they can meet each other. And then second of all, so that you can go over all of these things. You can show them the money network. You can share your screen on a zoom call and tell them all about, you know, how they get around the money network. But this post is really focused on what are we doing here? Like, why am I here? If I'm a member of FindCom here, this is supposed to be telling me, and hopefully you can tell me if this doesn't resonate with you as members of the FindCom here community. But um, so what this says is I wanted to share our values. And so I really liked the idea of connecting business values with community values. And so I just recently, with the rebranding I did this past week when I'm building this course, I realized that I didn't have values on the Find Calm Here website and so that I wanted to incorporate that within the community as well. So I have the values of Find Calm Here, um, which I just really established. And it's, it's helpful because then people resonate with these things as well. So um, I've been talking a lot about member experience and that's a primary reason I was a member of a Mighty Network before I created a Mighty Network. And I believe that Building an authentic, intentional online community offers members to be a part of the community building journey. So those are these are some like beliefs that I have. I think it's possible to have a cultivate a calm lifestyle while you're building a community. That's why we say find calm here with community building. I believe it's really helpful to collaborate and connect with other people to support you in helping you along the way. And then I believe that there is a business and community alignment so that you can connect the business, your business, um, goals and with the community goals so that it kind of aligns. And so that's what I work with my, with my clients all the time. So I have my values listed there. And I also say I created the Find Calm Here community to bring together money network hosts who feel overwhelmed with launching a community and cultivating contribution to offer them tools, resources, and support so that they can, so that together they can find calm in the process of confidently creating a community. This is my big purpose. So I've uh, done <laughs> my big purpose many times. And I know uh, we talk about you can never, you know, put the done stamp on a big purpose, but that is the one I have right now. And this is actually content from the landing page. I also recommend reminding people about what they purchased <laughs> because they think that's helpful and it, it helps for brand alignment as well as it helps for them to just like, again, it's like another a validation of like, okay, I'm in the right place <laughs> for people because they just need a little bit of sometimes, not everybody, but sometimes people need like that little validation. So this is just confirming like when you were on the landing page in the earlier sessions and the other sections we went into and I showed you the Find Calm Here landing page and it says who we are, we're Mighty Network hosts and what do we do here? 
this is all the stuff we do. <laughs> so I'm just really reiterating that again to people to let them know this is the place for you. You're in the right place. Together, we're going to help you find calm. And then I'm just kind of like relating to them. Maybe they're like, well, this is the problem I have. And here is, I'm addressing those problems. So you might be overwhelmed with learning new things. You might want more support. You want to create an awesome onboarding experience, but you know what that's like. You don't know what that's like. Um, maybe you want support from other members in the community because you like community. If you're here <laughs> in the Fine Gomer community, you're a community builder. So it goes into a little bit more of identity of like why we're here and then what we do together and then clarifying what they can expect The you know, we're going to have live sessions, workshops, training, video tutorials. Uh, I have some different events and then I also share the Find Calm Here podcast inside the community. The members of the Find Calm Here community get access to the podcast before I put that out on social media. <clears throat> and then I need your help. I need your help to help me make this an amazing place. Um, and so some of this is from the template that if you go into, and I'm going to show you right where this is. If you go into when you're in the um, mighty checklist at the top there, it says publish your big purpose. And it has a template and you can actually download the PDF if you want even. And this is from the Community Design Masterclass that many, many, if not all of you have taken. And if you need help with your big purpose, let me know. I, I would, I love helping people with their big purpose. I think it's fun. So let me help you with your big purpose. If that's something that you're still kind of like, if you're at this point and you're still like, I don't know what my big purpose is, please reach out to me and let me know. But um, I just wanted to like highlight that because I want to let you know that these things that you can customize are really fun ways to have people understand like what we're doing in this community. And it's also, you know, so that your network isn't completely empty when people start to come in. That way you have that post and there's other posts. And they, if, you are, if you're curious about where those things show up, if you look on the left-hand side, there's this tab, Discovery. And then the discovery section at the very top, it says welcome. And anything that you tag with the welcome will show up right here. And let me just clarify one more thing when I say that. When I say, if you tag something, if you go to that the little three dots on any of the posts that you've created, and then add this to, you'll see it says featured and welcome. So you can select both of those or, or one or the other. And those will then will come up in that discovery section. They're also going to come up in the about section. So when you look at the about section, they're also here. So that gives people a sec, like when they're coming into your, your money network, right? And they're seeing on the left hand side, home discovery members about invite. Okay. Well, what does discovery mean? Discovery is like, I'm exploring, right? So you want to have any kind of information up at the top in that welcome that's going to help them to know what they're supposed to do. Because it, sometimes it can be really confusing when people come into my network, they're like, well, where am I supposed to start? So you can have like a big start here, but not everybody sees that. So that's why the what I always recommend is some kind of like a webinar or, or just a welcome party or at the beginning of the first course session that you have, you just give a basic overview of here's where you navigate to different places so that they know that. So that is the, um, we just talked about the welcome and then we talked about the purpose article. Those are the two, I think, foundational things you'd want to have in your network when you're like opening it up. I don't think you have to have a whole lot more than that, just so you know. Um, but keep it simple and short in the beginning for your first launch, just keep it as simple as possible. The more clear you are on those messages, the easier people are going to understand why they're there, why they're going to stay there and what's interesting to them. So that's just some advice as far as the post. I will uh, continue to share some more about content in another video.